to my channel this is the 11th video tutorial in python series and in this video i'll explain you about operators i will cover four types of operators here that is arithmetic operators comparison operators assignment operators and logical operators rest operators i'll be covering in further videos when i'll use them so now let's start with the first one that is arithmetic operators it contains the operators like plus minus this is multiplication which is called as asterisk and then division and then we have modulus and then we have ex exponentiation so um, you might have read till now that um, you use the plus operator for addition uh, this is this is also used for addition itself I mean that this is used for addition of course suppose uh, when you do x plus y you need to know that x will have x should have been initialized with some value and y should have been initialized with some value then this addition will work and it will return the sum similarly if you want to find the uh, difference of them you can write this like x minus y where minus will be the operator and then if you want to do the multiplication you can use the asterisk asterisk operator and then if you want to perform division you can use this divide operator slash or by x y y and let me give you an example to explain modulus uh, when you do 3 by 2 you'll get the quotient equal to 1 and at the same time you'll get the reminder also equal to 1 so what this modulus function does is it gives you the value of reminder so whenever you want to find the value of reminder you can use this x percentage y now you might think that why do you want um, to, why do you want this operation there might be times when you want to differentiate between even and odd numbers and you know that even numbers are divisible by 2 so if even numbers are divisible by 2 then reminder will be 0 so this condition can be used for checking if a number is even or not this is a simple example this is exponentiation operator and suppose you want to find the power of 3 raised to 5 or any number like that you can use this for that you need to use this operator which means that x raised to the power of y here so these are the arithmetic operators now let us try to execute them open the terminal and then type python 3 now let us assign the value of x equal to 5 and then y equal to 2 now let me try to print the first operator that is x plus y if I print it, it returns the sum that is 5 plus 2 equal to 7. Now if I try to print the subtraction that is print x minus y, it should give the output as 3 because it is uh, subtraction. Now I'll do the multiplication for that type print x asterisk y. It should give the output as 10 because it is multiplication and now if I try to print x by y that is division it it will give the output as 2.5 which is the correct answer and if i want to find the reminder in this case what i'll do is i'll use the modulus function x modulus y so it is 1 because when we divide 5 by 2 uh, we get 1 as reminder okay now at last we have the exponentiation I'll use print x y so what it should give is 5 raised to 2 which is 25 and is the correct answer so this was all about arithmetic operators now we'll move on to comparison operators we have already assigned the value of x and y here so what these operators do is the task of comparing things so whenever we want to compare that if x is equal to y we use this operator that is comparison operator equal to so this is an comparison operator and when we want to compare if x equal to y we use this 
and you should take care that you shouldn't use x equal to y to compare things because this equal to single equal to is used for assigning the value of y to x but whereas if we use double equal to it checks whether the value of x and y are equal or not so you, you shouldn't use this now uh, when we want to compare that if the value of x is not equal to y so it does that task that it checks if the value of x is not equal to y and if this is true it returns true or else it returns false here it checks if x is greater than y and similarly here it checks if x is less than y and here we have greater than or equal to operator it checks if the value of x is greater than y or value of x is equal to y so if the value of x is greater than y it will return true or if the value of x is equal to y then also it will return true and similar way we have here x is less than equal to y it will check both the conditions and if any one of the condition is true it will return the answer as true so let's see those now we'll try to print x equal to equal to y it should return false because the values are not same here so it has returned false now let me type, try to print x not equal to y it will it should give the output as true because they are not equal and now let me try to print x greater than y it gives the output as true because phi is greater than true and now if I try to print x is less than y it should give the output as false because obviously it is greater now if I try to print x is greater than equal to y it will give the answer as true because it is greater it satisfies one condition and if we are trying to find x is less than equal to y we are comparing that it should give the output as false so these are the things uh, about comparison operators now let us move to assignment operators when you look at these this kind of operators look a bit complex but actually they are simple so if you write x equal to y what this means is that you are assigning the value of y to x in the similar way when you write x plus equal to y it means that x equal to x plus y so writing is in this way is a short form of this way so now if you want if you are using x minus equal to y it means that x equal to x minus y and here also in similar way x equal to x asterisk y and now here x equal to x by y so these are what arithmetic op assignment operators actually mean so if you want to reduce your size reduce the size of the code you can directly use these things and if you get confused you can use this uh, these things because um, what you are writing here and what you are writing here both are same so but it is better to use um, assignment operators because it will help you write um, codes in a better way or it will help you reduce your codes so now let us try to see this now I must let me assign the value of y to x here we have y as 2 and x equal to 5 so when I write x equal to uh, y the value of y will be assigned to x which means that x will be 2 now now if I try to print x it will give the output as 2 which means that the value of y has been assigned to x now let me write it as um, x x plus equal to um, 3 I'll write which means that x equal to x plus 3 so it should give the output as here x has be, x has the value of 2 now so x equal to 2 plus 3 which is equal to 5 so now let me print the value of x so now our the value of x is equal to 5 now if i write x minus equal to 2 okay this is minus
minus equal to two. What this means is that x um, x equal to x minus two. So x equal to five minus two, which is equal to three. So now if I try to print the value of x, it should give the output as three, which is correct here. And now let me try to print x asterisk um, and then equal to three or four. Now here I have the value of x equal to three. And what this means is x equal to x into four, which is three into four, which is equal to 12 here. So when I try to print x, it will give the output as 12. And now let me divide it x by equal to, mm, let me divide it by 6. What this means is x equal to x by 6. So 12 by 6 should return true uh, 2. So when I try to print x, it should give the output as 2, which is correct here. So this is the way in which we work with ar assignment operators. Now, the last operators which I'll be covering is AND here. What this AND does is, it checks two conditions. For example, here I have x greater than 3 and um, y less than 2. So, and let me assign the values here, x equal to 10 and y equal to 1. So it checks these two conditions that if x equal if x is greater than 3, yes, it is correct. And then it checks this condition that y should be less than 2. This is also true. So when both the conditions are true here, then only it returns true. Else it returns false. So you need to take care that if any one of the condition is true, then uh, then it is not then it will return false. For the AND condition to give the output as true both the conditions should be true and both means number of conditions and number of conditions should be true now if i write the same statement here that is x less greater than 3 or y less than 2 okay let me change this as y greater than 3 here you'll find that uh, our x value is greater than 3 and but here the condition specified is y should be greater than 3 but here y is less than 3 but we find that at least one of these conditions is true so whenever we use or and at least one of the total conditions is true then the output will be tr true and similarly if we had the condition like x is less than 3 uh, or y is less than 2 here we find that this condition is false but this condition is true so since one of the conditions is true it will return the answer as true and now here if we write not of x greater than 10 here we find that our value x okay let me make this value of 11 our value x is not greater than 11 in fact it is less than 11 so it's the actual value of this is false but when we use not what it does is it complements it so the output which we'll get is true so let let us check these functions now uh, i mean operators uh, i'm assigning x with 10 and y equal to 1 now let me try to print x greater than 3 and y less than 2 as discussed it will return true here and now we'll see this x is greater than 3 or y is greater than 3 it will return true because at least one of the conditions is true here and if both the conditions are true, then also it will return true. Now let us try to print the last one that is not of x greater than 11. It will return true because we have 
here it has the true value has uh, the false value has been complemented so these are the operators in python and that's it for this tutorial thanks for watching my videos please do like and subscribe and share them thank you hope to see you in the next video